Well, thank you for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. We pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer. Because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe who hear their prayers and who answer them in his own perfect timing. And also, um, because his timing is perfect. And also, where we share the good news of Jesus Christ right out of this true and living word of God, that, which brings salvation to you all if you believe by faith alone and repent of your sins. And if you do all that, it offers you eternal life with him forever. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, thank you guys for tuning in to another yet yeah, encouragement video. Um, to where you can be blessed by the Word of God, the act of Word of God, which brings comfort to your souls. Um, so thank you guys very much. Really appreciate it. Uh, today we're going to be talking about serving, the importance of serving as Christians, the command that God has given each one of us. So let's we're going to be in the book of Matthew 20, verse 28. So if you have your Bibles, what do you turn there? To Matthew 20, 20 verse 28. Matthew chapter 20, verse 28. Um, and we'll pick it up. Um, and before we pick it up, I'm going to open us up in a brief word of prayer to our Heavenly Father. So let's quiet our hearts and let's bow our heads and let's set our hearts on Christ today. Father God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your word. Would you speak to us now, Lord, by your word? Grow us where we need to be grown. Teach us where you want to be, us to be taught. We love you, Lord. Help us love you more, for we do not love you enough. Amen. All right, Matthew 20, verse 28. You ready? Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for money. What does this mean, brothers and sisters? Can we read this one more time? And as we read this a second time, let's meditate on what this means to us personally in our lives. You ready? Just as the Son of Man did not come to serve, did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. How did it pick up, brothers and sisters? So this is a very short verse, but a lot to unpack here. It says, Just as the Son of Man. Who is the Son of Man? Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, who died on the cross for us to pay our sin, to, to, to pay the, the price for our sin that we so rightfully deserved. But He loves us so, so much, He decided to die for us because we couldn't die for ourselves. We were that sinful. He loves us. That's who the Son of Man is. It says, just as the Son of Man did what? Did not. Did not. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served. Just as the Son, uh, yeah, a man did not come to be served, but to serve. Brothers and sisters, it says, just as the Son of Man, we already talked about who the Son of Man is, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, who died on the cross for us, did not what? come to be served. Served is a key word here. How many of us go about our days thinking, okay, who's going to do this thing for me? Who's going to do something nice for me today? Who's going to buy my meal, take me out to eat? Or, or what present am I, oh, let's move into around Christmas time or your birthday. What present am I getting? And how many gifts do I do I have? Or how many of you write down on a big piece of paper, um, on a piece of paper, a, make a huge list of all of your, the things that you want for Christmas or for your birthday? I know I have done that in the past. But what is it saying? What is this? What is Matthew chapter twenty verse twenty eight telling us? Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served. But to what? But is the second key word. But to serve. Brothers and sisters, God did not come to ask for, ask for more gifts and for more gifts. He came not to be served. He came to serve. Yes, Christ might give, get gifts. We might get gifts. But Christ's main focus wasn't just to be served, get nice things. Christ's mission's was to serve people. And my challenge for you all today is that is that can be our mission as well. That 
as we go through each day that we can focus on serving other people, not focusing on getting stuff, getting more stuff, but we can focus on serving. We can have Christ's mission statement, Christ's model. That's my encouragement for you all today. That we can serve more people and love on more people and share the good news of Jesus Christ with them. Not that getting gifts is bad, but that shouldn't be our focus. Our focus should be serving people and loving on people. That's my encouragement for you all today. Well, if you never came to God before, this topic might be pretty hard. You might be like saying, serving, well, how do you serve? Well, we're going to get you on the right track for this topic to become easier for you to understand. And here's what you do. You pray a simple prayer of faith by believing in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Repeat these prayers after me. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Would you please come into my life, Lord? I cannot do this life without you anymore. You're the only hope I have, Lord. I repent of all my sins, and I would turn to you. Amen. Well, if you just prayed that prayer today for the first time with us, or we pray this prayer in honor of the prodigal son, then I want to welcome you into the family of God, or welcome you back into the family of God, because Scripture says when one walks into the family of God, one walks back in heaven rejoices, and I rejoice along with you as well. And I've been praying for this moment, because this is, friends, truly the most important decision that we can ever make of our life, is by believing in the Lord Jesus Christ and accepting the work that He did for us on the cross, and accepting Him into our lives as the free gift of salvation that he offers to us it's the most important decision that we can make with our life so if you just made this decision today or we committed your life to Christ today I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone because we want to give you resources and next steps to take on this important decision that you made today we don't want to market you at all we don't want to press you we just simply want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next on this important decision that you made today and most importantly we just want to be praying for you because we truly, truly believe in the power of prayer and that prayer works because we're praying to the true and living God who hears our prayers and who answers them. Brothers and sisters, can I bless you all today before I send you all on your way? I'm going to bring hands up to receive the blessing of God. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and may you never forget that we are here to serve, not to be served. Brothers and sisters, let's remember this each and every day. That our job as Christians is to serve other people and love on other people, not to be served. Well, if you were encouraged by this video and feel like you need to encourage someone else with this topic, would you please do me a favor by clicking on the share button and sharing it, the good news of Jesus Christ with them, the hope with them that you have? Don't hold it back. We're called to share the hope. If you just need prayer or you would like to talk, feel free to reach out. I'm always here for you. Keep Christ number one. Have a blessed day. Peace.